In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Buddha Mega Menu and Navigation Shopify app. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description, click on that and it's going to send you to this page here. And from here you want to go ahead and click on the install button. So once we've done that, it should open up a new tab and you should be able to go ahead and click this install button here and it should install it onto your Shopify store. So the first thing you're going to be shown is a pricing table. Now there's a free plan, which is free forever, and it has quite a lot of limited features. Or you can go ahead and use the Megazen plan, which is $9.95 a month. And this gives you a 14 day free trial and it gives you all the features that they offer. Now there should be a discount code down below or if you use the link in the description you should be able to get a discount code on that. So make sure you go ahead and do that and then sign up for the mega plan. It's just going to be better for you. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to sign up. And from here we're going to go ahead and click on approve and that's going to approve the payment. Okay so now you're going to get brought to a page like this which is pretty blank and the first thing you want to do is go to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click on this button that says add and design mega menu. Now for me it says it's not working and I think at first it wants me to add two items so I'll just do that quickly. I'll just add um, two random items. Okay and I'm gonna add another one. Okay so now I'm gonna go down and add, oh I need to save this actually. Okay, cool. Now it's going to ask me to enable the app. So we're going to go ahead and click enable app now. And it's going to open up our Shopify store. And it's going to go to the top left hand corner and it's going to open up app embeds and it's going to get you to turn on the app here. So make sure it's turned on and then go ahead and click save and it should be ready to go. So now we can go back to the app and actually customize our menu. So the, what we can do is I'm going to delete these items here. I'm going to go ahead and click add item. And first of all, it's going to ask us for the icon we want for the item. We can have a static one or we can have a live one. Live ones basically move. So go through and just figure out which one you like the look of. Um, let's say this one here. And we can call this one accessories. Now once you name it, that's going to be the name that shows up on the menu bar. And then after that on the select link, it's going to be the it's going to be where the link goes once you click on it. So you can either do um, a, a home page, you can do collection, you can do all, to, all collections, you can do a specific product, you can do a specific page, or you can do a, a web address. So if we were to do a product, we could go ahead and click that and it could send to a product here. So we could type this one called lamp bestseller or something like that and we can even add another label here like new hot sale or something like that I'm gonna put um, new there we can even add a countdown and if we start it today um, we can end it tomorrow like this time press ok that's gonna go ahead and add that and that's gonna that's what's gonna look like basically we can go add another one and we could call this one um, put this one here and we could say shop all and we could send this one to all collections just like that and this is what that menu item is going to look like now inside of each menu item we can hover over it and we can go ahead and add a sub menu so we can either add a tree simple tabbed or contact a tree is going to look like that simple is going to look like this tabbed will look like that and contact is going to be a contact form so pick the one that you like the look of i think that the tabbed one's pretty good and then we can go in here and add another tab. So we can go ahead and do that. And we don't have to have an icon if we don't want to. We can call this one something like free trial, for example. And we can send that to a custom page here if we wanted to. Or we can just send it to a specific collection. So we'll do that. We can even add a description here. So it can be like view our trial product. We can go ahead and press OK and you can see now we've got that one there which comes underneath this one here. Now we can go ahead here and add a widget which is going to be another link if we want to so we can just make it go down and down each layer. At the top here we've also got the translate thing here so we can go ahead and translate some of the different text if we want to. 
Um, and there's also some things like you've got your help bit here. You've got your FAQs. And there's even a contact button here so you can contact them in case you need some help. Now if we go ahead and press save, we should be able to go onto our store and it should show up if I refresh it. There we go, we can see the menu shows up and it works just as we wanted it to. So that's basically how you use the app. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that the video helped you out. Thank you for watching.